Right, you might want to do some adjusting on the reed blades. Generally, when I get a, 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 I have a student that gets a new reed from the store, the blades can be pretty rough um, and that might feel uncomfortable on your lips. They might even be a bit uneven. And um, so I've just got some different grits of sandpaper here and I've got what's called a plaque. It's called an arrowhead plaque. You'll notice with this one, it's got a little bit of what we call a belly. There's a little bit of thickness to it. And once again, soak the reed. And you're gonna slide this in, just like we do the mandrel to protect the tube. There's space between the blades. We're gonna carefully slide this between the blades. And that's gonna take up the space between the blades so that they won't crack. So I like to definitely work with sandpaper. This is wet dry sandpaper. I don't know if it, uh, it says it. This comes in um, big eight and a half by 11 sheets and I've just cut it down to a manageable size. What I like to do is have this, um, I just cut it into little strips so that I can wrap it around my finger. You can use whichever finger you find your best at. Um, I think I generally use my middle finger, but I kind of wrap it around like that. And then my finger is the tool and I just happen to have some sandpaper on it. So I'm just going to very lightly go over this blade, this soaked reed with this. This is 600 grit sandpaper, so it's not going to take very much off at all, but it's going to kind of polish the surface and make it smoother. I'm going to do both sides. I like a really smooth surface on my lips. I really don't like rough cane on my lips. And so I just do that. And you'll notice there's a little bit of stuff that came off. Part of that is the grit from the sandpaper and part of it's actually cane. They come together and they make a little bit of a paste and it gives it a really nice polished surface that I doubt you can tell with the camera. I doubt you can really tell. Um, much difference. You can, if you were to feel it, if we had feel a vision, you could definitely feel the difference. Um, what I notice as I'm working on this is that the tip, this is a brand new reed, and the tip is really thick. So when I was sanding, I could feel what I call a speed bump when I go back from the plaque onto the um, cane, onto the reed. And that's going to mean that the low notes are going to probably be very difficult to play. So what I'm going to do is once again take the sandpaper. It's very thick, so I'm going to take a slightly coarser grit. This is 400. Um, the polishing stuff I was using was 600. Backwards. Twice. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing at the front edge of the other blade. Really important to keep your angle as much the same as you possibly can. And now if I put that plaque back in, which I've, nope, there it is. All right, if I put the plaque back in, that speed bump now is just much smoother, much more gradual. So this is mostly a feel test, but I want to show you what it looks like. You'll know if you put a plaque in and you do this, then if you feel a great big bump, then you'll know you probably want to thin your tip a little bit. Uh, of course, if the reed's playing perfectly, don't bother. But if you're noticing trouble with low notes, then you can thin the tip by doing this little trick. And if two isn't quite enough, then you can take it and try it and do it again. You'll always want to do just a small adjustment, one thing, and then play it. Then you can, if you need to do a little bit more or something different, you won't have ruined the read. If you sit here and make 20 swipes, then it's too much. Then you can't put cane on once you've taken it off. You can't glue it back on. So one adjustment and then play the read. Another adjustment, play the read. And that's sandpaper you'll find is a very good friend. Um, you can take really coarse sandpaper and if the read feels too heavy, you can, once again, let me get the plaque, always the plaque if you're working on the blade, and a little bit of water. You can take, this is uh, 240 grit, so it's very coarse, and I can take a lot of cane off pretty quickly. You don't even need a knife. So you can do a lot with sandpaper, and it's really hard to mess up with sandpaper. 
Once again, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do both blades the same. I'm going to take out the plaque. I'm going to blow it. <laughs> Actually feels pretty good. It's a little rough again, so I would probably polish with that 600 grit sandpaper again. But um, try some working with sandpaper uh, if you find you have trouble with your reeds.